And with that chaos on the subway, police now looking for a trio who rode their motorized bikes right into a busy station and onto a train. Stunning to commuters trying to go about their day. It was captured on cell phone video and shared on social media. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas live at the Rockefeller Center station with more for us. Andrea. <laughs> Well, Morris and Christine, it's still unclear how those three men on those motorized bikes got down to the platform. However they did it, they had to come through an area like this with turnstiles, more than likely going the wrong way through the exit. And riders kept asking us today, where was security to stop them? Three men nonchalantly rode their motorized bikes right onto an F train at the Rockefeller Center station headed to Queens. One bystander had to quickly pause to keep from getting hit. It's horrible. Wow. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Not surprising, but inappropriate. This video was taken in December, but just started making its rounds on social media. It's not the first time such a brazen action was taken. This is a picture of a similar incident at the Fulton Street station in September. What are your concerns seeing something like this? Uh, that it could sort of inspire other reckless behavior. That's dangerous. Where's the police? The Police Benevolent Association was not available for an on-camera interview, but shared the video on Twitter with a caption saying, this is what the anti-cop agitators want, anarchy on our subways. Politicians must support us. The MTA is advising riders to tell a police officer or MTA employee if the banned bikes are ever spotted in the subway stations. But many riders say they don't always see officers around. Have you seen an increased presence at all in any of the stations? Only in Harlem. I always see them on uh, the 5 train and um, the D train. Only like when you go through the turnstile, that's what he had. They never like down here protecting like what's supposed to be going on and stuff. The NYPD is aware of the incident and is investigating. Riders are used to seeing their fair share of antics on the subways, but this takes many by surprise. And it's important to note that those motorized bikes are banned on the subway. So are hoverboards. Thankfully, in this instance, no one was injured. But officials stress that it's just too dangerous. From Rockefeller Center, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. Okay, Andrea, thank you.